Let's take a look at Rob Pappen, RG Muted CM, which is a free giveaway with Computer Music Magazine. So to start out, we click anywhere on this blue area to dismiss the splash screen, and you can play the instrument right away. Um, it responds to the note range C1 to B4, and you can also trigger it from this little virtual keyboard down here. Let's check out some of the presets. You can cycle through them using the arrow keys next to the preset name under the Rob Pappen logo. If you click on the preset name, a, a more full-on menu will appear. Select default preset to initialize the instrument, and this gives us a clean slate to work from. Once you've initialized the patch, you'll notice that when you play a note, you won't actually hear anything. For starters, by default, the model mode in the top left-hand corner is set to electric. Only muted modes are available in RG Muted CM, so click the model parameter and select muted high instead. Turn up all the volume and decay faders in the top left-hand corner and set the decay, release and pan knobs in the amp panel to 12 o'clock. Turn the volume knob in the panel up to 8. Now click where it says 1 in the step row of the sequencer to activate it. If you like you can save a copy of this patch uh, for future use by clicking on the preset name and clicking save preset. Ah, oh, one note. David Guetta style guitar riff isn't the most inspiring sound, so let's make it a little more complicated. At the bottom left hand corner of the instrument you'll see a parameter called steps. Click it and select 8 steps. You'll see that the numbers on the sequencer now go up to 8. Activate steps 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8. The rows below the step number determine how each step will be played. By default all steps are set to downstrokes. Set 6 to an upstroke and 3 and 7 to ghost strokes like so. This is a little slow, so set the speed parameter in the bottom row to 1 times BPM. Now when you play a sustain note, you will hear we've got a pretty disco-tastic rhythm guitar riff going. The up, down and ghost strokes all have a different sound, and it's this that gives us the funky rhythm. You can use the tie row to play sustain notes. Activate steps 2 and 5 now, and set them to tie. This won't actually sound any different until you turn up the decay knob in the amp panel. Turn steps 2 and 5 off and you'll hear the riff reverts to its original staccato sound. Next, let's check out the filter. In the filter panel, change the mode from bypass to 12 dB bandpass. Turn the envelope knob up to 20% and the key to 44%. In the filter envelope panel, set the attack to 33 milliseconds and the decay to 158 milliseconds. This bandpass filter movement gives us a funky wah pedal style feel. Next, let's add some effects. In the FX panel, set the type to amp sim, uh, the mix to 10, and turn up the distort to 22%. This roughs up the sound a bit. Let's use uh, some more of the instrument's effect slots. Click the 2 button to access the second effect, and this time set it to phaser. Finally, click the 3 button and set the effect type to stereo delay. Turn the mix knob down so that the delay effect is just audible. 